Hey guys, uh, this is Nicholas Kang and I'm here to present Weed Flower by Cynthia Tarohara. I chose to read this book mainly because um, I heard great things from my mother and she is the one person that persuades me to read. She's the main advocate for my reading world, I guess, and because I don't, I don't like reading. And also, uh, I also chose this book because the setting is in World War II. And that's what we're learning in history class, so I felt that this was a great way for me to immerse myself in the effects of World War II. And in this book, Sumiko, the main character, is a Japanese-American living in California. She is forced to uh, move around different internment camps, and she soon discovers that Japanese-Americans are just as unwanted as Native Americans in the U.S. Um, as her journey around the U.S., around different camp locations, she meets a Native American boy. At first, she thinks that they have nothing in common, that they're just two different races, two different people. And she realizes that th that's her true and only friend. Together, they discover and unravel the racial and political challenges at the time and the true meaning of friendship. I truly enjoyed reading this book for three reasons. The ideas of racism, the usage of symbolism, and the usage of the Japanese language. Racism is greatly seen throughout the book. For example, on page 36, Sumiko was invited to Marsha Melrose's birthday party. As she came to the, the door of Melrose's grand house, um, she was not unwelcomed by the children, but by the parents. I enjoyed the uses of symbolism, and the author does a great job to symbolize small items and to symbolize, symbolize large items such as the camps himself. Uh, for example, the camps was a, was a symbolism of prejudice and also safe haven. On page 179, Sumiko's friend said that we're in a camp because of prejudice, pure and simple. While others believe that though there may be some prejudice, that it was actually a safe haven, a house of protection for them against the hate the haters out there. The main reason why I loved this book was because of the aspect of the Japanese language that was incorporated into the book. Um, other than me being fascinated with Japanese culture and especially uh, anime, uh, this book does a great job of using Japanese to show whenever there was times of stress and desperation. For example, on page 130, it says, once, when Sumiko had asked Ji-chan, which is grandfather, how sad it must have made him when her mother died, he said, Shikata Nagai, which translates into, it cannot, be, it cannot be helped. The author uses this to truly express stress and grief, and the mother tongue comes out from the heart. I believe that people should really read this book because I believe that it um, can possibly help them understand the effects of the war on Americans during World War II, and also just for brownie points for Mr. Smythe. I mean, who wouldn't want that, you know? And uh, sincerely, um, I believe that people should read Weed Flower because it's just a great holistic book that teaches great morals and values. Thank you everyone for your time, and this is Weed Flower by Cynthia Kadohara.